All right, go to Google and Google for net beans, one word, and the first hit will show you uh, it has a little sub menu to click download net beans 7.0. Click that download 7.0. Scroll down and you'll find your way to uh, a download button. Click that download button. It'll show you a, a table where you have options which uh, NetBeans package you want to download. You could download just the PHP package, but go to the far right uh, column, download, and download that one. And it'll, that's just for good measure. Uh, that After you, you click there, you'll get taken to a download page. Save it to a place. Then open a new tab and Google for JDK. You're going to download the Java Development Kit. The first hit, click that first hit in Google and you'll be taken to a Java page and then like you'll see a visual thing on the left of that the icons and below that first icon on the left uh, click JDK or JRE rather and that's the Java runtime and install the uh, x86 or x64 if you're on this system uh, then go back a page uh, and click the JDK this time instead of JDE and download the x86 or 1064 link, whichever uh, processor and operating system you're using. Um, once you have those things, you'll be able to develop uh, programs and compile Java programs, and you'll also be able to uh, run the runtime of Java programs. Uh, you need that in order to install NetBeans. That's the only uh, reason we had to download that. Okay, in our last tutorial, we showed how to set up Apache. And uh, if you don't have Apache running as a web server on your computer, you're going to have to backtrack. But basically, go to your Apache's htdocs folder again. Go into, you know, pro C, Program Files, Apache Software Foundation, Apache 2.2, slash uh, htdocs. Uh, look at that folder in a, in a directory. And then dial in localhost and see that it works okay-ish, or you'll see whatever your index page is. Try going to test.php, and yeah, you can see test.php as well, if you made it from the last tutorial. And you could even uh, go to helloworld.php if you made helloworld.php. Basically, create a new uh, PHP file in that directory called hello world and look at the screen right now and it'll that's the uh, source code that was the source code for hello world that PHP and the way I uh, if, if you're just fresh installing and your best notepad is notepad.exe the one that came with Windows Server it's not even gonna do code highlighting so it's gonna look just awful it's gonna be very difficult to program with just a text editor although you could easily make changes to your hello world.php or test.php to make a beautiful and powerful program but it would be excruciatingly painful and so install NetBeans and once you have it uh, installed and I'm not going to walk you through the steps because it's pretty plain and simple so pause this and once it's installed go into NetBeans 7.0 and uh, I mean launch the program from the start menu and you will probably be greeted with a home launch pad type thing. In the upper left hand corner of the screen, select the file menu and choose new project. You will be then presented with a panel that lets you choose which language you want to write in. Choose PHP and in the right panel choose PHP application and pause this video while NetBeans activates the PHP module. The next panel you are shown lets you change the name of your project. Go ahead and change the name to Hello World. It's that top uh, text field. Then you can click Next and the next panel will uh, will have a checkbox that says copy files from source folder to another location. You want to check that checkbox and point it to the your Apache servers root dot document uh, www folder. Uh, so click the Browse button and browse uh, to your My Computer C drive and by default it's uh, Program Files x86, Apache Foundation or whatever, uh, Apache 2.2 uh, slash htdocs and that's where you want NetBeans to automatically copy your uh, source projects to so you can have access to them through the local host. Uh, so once you've pointed away, 
click finish and if you haven't finished yet pause the demo and uh, you will now and forget about the frameworks don't worry about the frameworks just click finish and your PHP project will be generated okay now you see in the upper left uh, quadrant you have sort of a project explorer it shows you all of the files for your project and our our project only has one file right now but it's good to know that you can add more you can add like an home.html along with your PHP thing and so on and so forth now double click index.php and in the upper right quadrant you'll see the contents of that file it's hard to see in the image if you're looking at the image but you should be looking at NetBeans right now while I'm talking um, so you should see HTML and a header, and below that you'll see a less than symbol, a question mark, and a PHP bracket. That's where your PHP goes. I'll give you a moment to try and find it. Okay. So write the line echo space uh, quotation mark. My code is here, quotation mark, semicolon and hit the run, the green run button in NetBeans. Pause the video if you can't find it, and once you hit that run button, you'll be shown your your project in, in the web browser, and it goes to localhost just like before, but it automatically takes care of that stuff for you. Okay, now back in NetBeans, let's add a new line um, above echo, and it should be make a variable so hit dollar sign get uh, get parameter and I can't read it from this screen but get a parameter yeah get a parameter equals uh, dollar sign underscore capital G capital E capital T uh, bracket single quote uh, param1 p-a-r-a-m-1 single quote, close bracket, semicolon. Then change your echo line to read the string my param1 equals uh, colon, space, space, uh, dollar sign, get a parameter, and we're, we're referencing that variable we created just above, uh, dollar sign get a parameter and code completion if you hit tab it'll like complete your code for you in NetBeans that's a cool feature okay once you've done that uh, just click the run button and you should be shown your PHP script once again and this time the string that it echoes should be my param one equaled and just nothing. It won't show you what it equaled because you didn't send it an actual parameter. Go back into NetBeans and to automatically send it a parameter, click the Run menu, scroll down to Set Project Configuration, and then choose Configuration, and you will be shown a panel. And the bottom field is Arguments. And in that field, type param1 equal sign. Uh, blah, or this is a parameter. I uh, hit OK to accept that change, and then back in NetBeans, click Run, and it should automatically it, the script should read my param one equaled this is a parameter or whatever string you put in there. Perfect. And if you look at the address bar of your web browser, you should see that parameter right there in plain text. Now, to really show you how powerful NetBeans is, we're going to walk through a tutorial. So, open up Google, go to Google, and type after me, 02 underscore call I, there's no space between 02 underscore and call, space PHP file from html.txt. Google that, and the first hit should be a tutorial on using HTML and PHP combined. Copy the first uh, HTML code segment into your clipboard, switch back into NetBeans, right-click on source files in NetBeans, and choose 
create new, and then scroll down to where it says HTML file. You can name this HTML file any name. Uh, I specifically named it any name.html, but choose whatever name you want in the NetBeans panel that is shown to you. Uh, click OK or Enter or whatever to create this HTML file. And you'll see it's added to your source files collection in that left upper left corner. Now double click any name.html and uh, select all of the contents of any name.html and paste over them what's in your clipboard buffer. That'll paste the code from the tutorial into any name.html. Good. Now go back to the tutorial and you'll see that the second code section in the tutorial has a specific name. Copy this name to your clipboard buffer, go back into NetBeans, right click on index.php and scroll down to rename because you want to rename your PHP file to the appropriate name. In the rename input box, paste in get invoice detail and hit OK. NetBeans will rename the file for you to get invoice detail.php. Now double click that file and delete its contents and then switch back to the tutorial and copy the contents of get invoice detail.php to your clipboard. Then switch back into NetBeans and paste it in. That went a little fast, so you might need to consult the visual to see what I was actually saying. Now we've basically mirrored the file structure that was presented in the tutorial on Dream and Code. But before we can click the Run button, we need to make some minor adjustments. So click the Run file menu, scroll down to Project Configuration, scroll down to Customize, click that, and the index file needs to be changed to any name.html or whatever you named your HTML file, okay? And delete those arguments that are left over from our last experiment. Click OK in the Project Properties dialog box, and then you can click Run and you should see uh, what is on the screen now and you should be able to interact with this thing using uh, technology known as Ajax. There you go, I hope this helps. Hey, I only want to do this once, so here's the problem. You're, uh, you're always going to have to open up NetBeans and when you start a new project you're going to have to specify that checkbox to move your PHP project to a different location for the run button to just work. Every project you're going to have to do that. So, you know, there's a, workaround, there's a fix for that workaround. And you can go into, uh, first of all, turn off your Apache server. Turn off your Apache server by clicking that lower right hand corner. Looks like a leaf or a, f uh, a, f or a flag or a feather. Uh, left click it and hit stop on that feather. It'll stop it. Then go into your Apache directory, Apache Software Foundation, Apache 2.2. Um, then conf, that conf folder, and then go to httpd.conf in there. Open that file up. And you can see it on my screen now. I'm in perfectly in sync. I should be anyway. <laughs> um, and you'll see a bunch of stuff. You'll see server root. Don't want to change that to change the path of your htdocs. To ch you want to go down to, to document root or something. I'm going to set down the microphone. Oh, document root right here. You're going to want to change that to your NetBeans thing. So I'm going to go into my... A uh, little users thing. I'm going into documents now. New slash document. Here we go. NetBeans projects. That is where we want to point our htdocs. So copy that. Paste it here. And there's another spot. Paste. And it might be good to comment that out, but I'm in a rush. And here you go. There's like there's a little directory. Uh, there's a less than sign directory space quotation mark, and then it leads to your old htdocs. Eh, we're gonna change that from htdocs back to uh, back to the NetBeans project thing. We're gonna save that. Now let's restart. We made two changes. We're gonna start Apache again, and we're going to go to NetBeans. And I just made this hello git because I'm in the middle of another tutorial and it couldn't find it before, but now it will just, it, well, it found it. 
It found it. There's nothing. There's no source code in there. But hey, we did it. I completed it. Good job. I hope this works for you. Goodbye.